So I was thinking about um, a topic today um, when I was riding home from school, and I just watched a video um, made by Dave Rubin from the Dave Rubin Report, and it was basically along the, along the same lines of what I was thinking about today, and that is basically the totalitarianism of um, modern society, um, especially with the advent of the internet. And now I'm using the word totalitarianism, obviously, in a very exaggerated manner here. Um, but it is true in a certain sense. For most people, we have uh, smartphones, either an iPhone or a, a Samsung, which has the internet. We have all of our apps with our social media, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, our email, our text messaging, Snapchat, etc., etc. Um, and to add on to this, um, people like me like to listen to what other people have to say. And I've kind of went through a period, the last two years, I've really just become addicted to YouTube, I think. Um, and not, not the kind of small, just you know, stupid short videos that, you know, you don't really get much out of, but I love listening to podcasts, lectures, audiobooks, there's a lot of great audiobooks on YouTube, and I like listening to people like Dave Rubin interview people, um, and I think I'm going to try to take a break, break from this, I'm going to see if I can take a break at least, um, for a few days, and I'll see what, what happens, but basically what I've kind of come to the realization of, the realization that I've come to, is that I'm not able to think as clearly as I once was able to. I'm not able to philosophize as well as I once did. I'm not able to think about new ideas as spontaneously as I once was able to do. Now, I might just be um, um, messing my brain up with drugs. I don't know. That might be a possibility. But I really do think it is the constant stream of um, people talking and people reading that is slowing me down. I'm just consuming so much of other people's thoughts that I'm not able to have my own. So I'm going to do an experiment, um, try to get at least three days of not listening to any YouTube videos, not watching any news, not listening to any radio, um, try not to listen. I'm going to try not to listen to a lot of music and I'll see how this goes. I've, I've tried stuff like this before and it usually fails because I'm um, my discipline is not very good right now. But we'll see how it goes. And like I said, this constant stream of information um, and it's not I wouldn't say a lot. A lot of it's not worthless information. Um, I don't like consuming um, worthless stuff. I, I, I deleted my Facebook, I want to say, uh, five years ago or so, five or six years ago. I've deleted my Twitter maybe four years ago. Um, and I try not to um, ingest worthless information. But even if the information is worth something, if you have a constant stream of it coming into your mind, you cannot think for yourself. Um... I don't remember, there was some philosopher or, I forgot who said this, but it was someone, it might be Schopenhauer who said this, um, the people who just read all day, they don't actually learn how to think for themselves. And he says what you should do is you should definitely read books, but only read the best books, but you need to spend time in the quiet thinking about things for maybe hours on end, or you'll never be able to come to certain understandings about things. And I think that's what's happened to me recently. So I'm going to try to take a couple days. We'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah.